Hey everybody, what's up? Nico here, and in this video we're gonna make a Death Trooper helmet. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, Nico here. This video we are going to um, 3D print this Death Trooper helmet. Uh, I'm not really a big Star Wars fan, but this guy I thought was such a badass. Um, he looks so just menacing. He looks like one of those elite mobs that you just had to kill, like when you find like in a game or something. He just looks like somebody will just kill you. So um, I thought it was really cool. Um, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how I did it, and all the materials that I used, the orientation of the print, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So without further ado, let's do it. All right. So the way we want to orient the um, first, we're going to do the the whatever piece that is, I don't even recall that, <laughs> um, is uh, on a 90 degree angle, we want to stand it up like this. Uh, it's going to minimize the amount of supports that you're going to need. Um, and I also took out the supports. If you do auto-generate support, there's going to be supports underneath here. I took those out. And there's going to be supports under here and inside this little hole right here. Um, took those out as well. Those you don't need. Now, I did add supports um to this area because it's flat and you want to make sure that it doesn't you know print in midair and they'll get spaghetti so that's for that now for the helmet what we're going to do is we're going to tilt this um on the x oh not that way so that the visor nope not 30 that way <laughs> so that the visor is um facing upwards so i'm actually going to tilt this forward some more you don't need to tilt it that much um something like this will be fine now what i'm looking for is some help so that we don't have to put um supports under the visor now if you tilt it too far so that the visor is flat, you're going to need supports under there. Even though it's on a slight angle up, um, it's still not going to print correctly. So I'd rather have supports underneath here, um, and then leave this, uh, leave that, you know, however it's going to be, and then we'll be fine. Now you also have to pay attention to the side here, um, as well as the back. So there's most likely going to be supports. Um, in the back right here and then um, obviously no center supports you don't need that that's a waste of supports um but yeah so i'm going to go ahead and put these supports on this again nothing under the visor um just probably something in the back and then uh, obviously uh, on the perimeter uh, of the base and in the front lip right here so let me go do that real quick all right so now that i put the supports in this is what it looks like i kept oh, missed one um so i kept the re the supports in the back in the rear um obviously all in the inside i just did auto generate support and i just took out the supports that i didn't like which were the center ones um underneath the visor and um some other spots like uh, the side right here um, when you do that though be careful make sure you put supports under these um whatever these circles are <laughs> underneath here um, because if you do auto generate support it might not read that so always be sure to inspect your model and your supports before you start printing because you don't want to you know put it on the printer the whole thing finishes and you put, take the supports out and you see that you missed a few and you have to reprint the entire thing again so we don't want that all right so now that this is done i'm going to throw this on a printer and um yeah all right, so what I've done now, and I'm an idiot because I forgot to record the video. Um, I put some filler primer on this thing um, after I had put some wood filler on the top part of the dome. Just some quick wood filler, one of these things. I'm gonna link this down in the, uh, in, um, the description below because the divots, the dips on top of the uh, helmet are, um, are more pronounced so i used wood filler for that and then um i sanded it down and i've sprayed sprayed it just quick with some filler primer and now i'm using where is it rapid fill that i got from tnt cosplay supply 
Um, and I'm going to just spread this all over the entire helmet. Um, and this is what's going to get in between the layer lines um, to smooth it out. Now, normally I use um, fine finish, which is this thing. But today, um, I think I want to switch, uh, switch up gears a little bit and use um, rapid fill um, just to see and remind myself of the kind of difference that it, that it makes. Um, a rapid fill, I believe, uh, fills in better. So I'm going to use that for this helmet. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to coat the entire thing. I'm going to let this dry. And then we're going to sand it. And then we're going to prime it. And it's just going to be a jet black. And then we're going to do the visor and, and all that other stuff. So um, give me a second. I'm going to go work, work on that. All right. So what I've done now is um, I sanded the whole thing. I put a little bit of... Um, wood filler on top and a little tiny little bits of cracks that are on there. Um, so when I sanded it, I started with a, a 120 grit sandpaper and I just went around, put it on a sanding block, sanded it. And then I went around with a 400 grit sandpaper uh, to smooth it out. Um, and so now that after, after you, after you sand it, you, um, I, I primed it just a little bit on the back with the, um, with some filler primer. And it showed a little tiny, um, I don't even know what they are, like uh, sandpaper scratches, if you will, on, on the surface. And now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of filling those in. Um, I'm going to run this again with uh, super lightly with the 120 grit sandpaper on top just to, to sand it down. And then back with the 400. And then we're going to prime this thing and we're going to paint it. After we paint it, we're going to install the visor, which I have inside. All right, so I've sanded down the little wood wood patches and I sprayed primer on it. The primer I used is this thing right here, this Krylon Color Max primer. Um, I didn't use the filler primer for that. Now I'm gonna paint it, and I'm gonna paint it with this gloss black. Um, again, it's from Krylon. You can get this at Lowe's. Um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure Amazon has it, so I'm just gonna link the Amazon um, link for this as well. And so. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to spray it. It's, it's straight up black. It's super easy to paint. And I'm going to um, paint it and then um, install the visor on it. All right, so what I have here is a welding uh, face mask replacement. Um, so all you're going to do with this one is you're going to take your blade and you're going to score it. As you guys can see, I've already done it. You're just going to score it um, little by little. And eventually, you're going to cut through the plastic and you're going to be able to um, just cut it right there. So let me do that for the rest of this, and then I'm going to show you guys um, how to put it on. So um, basically, I just measured about three inches. Is it three, two and a half? Um, just uh, wide enough so I can in put it into the um, into the helmet, and that's going to be the visor. So let me do that real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys how to install it onto the helmet. All right, so this is the inside of the helmet. As you guys can see, that's the visor. Um, all I'm going to do is put some points um, to glue. Um, for, for me, hot glue will do just fine because it just has to be secured on there. Um, but yeah, this this should be done in the next 10 minutes. I'm going to glue it um, uh, in the center point right here and on the sides right there on the inside. So let me get, do that real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Yay! And that's all she wrote, you guys. Um, she's finally done. Um, everything that I used, I'm going to make a link down in the description below. Make sure you guys um, check those out. Everything's going to be on Amazon, hopefully. And we'll see you haven't linked them up yet. Um, anyway, and that's it, you guys. Make sure you guys follow us also in our Facebook group. Please join us at 3D Printed Armor and Weapon Props. There's far better <laughs> prop makers in there than me. Um, the way I did it today is just the way I've done it. So... Um, hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and the subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on. And that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.